let's talk quick searching in KYVL. You can access KYVL through ClassLink or by going to kyvl.org. When you're at school and you click on KYVL in ClassLink, it will automatically log you in. If you're at home, you will likely need to uh, request the username and password. So from here on the KYVL search page, under KYVL Quick Search, if you select your age level, kids, middle school, or high school, and then type in your topic, it will return a list of EBSCO host resources. Now, one of the things that I'm finding is when you type in a topic is that there's a research starter page. This is a good place to start. You can click on the research starter page and it depends on the topic, but they may have key figures and summaries, maps, timelines, and things like that. Or they may just have a paragraph that would give you some key details that you could dive in deeper to. From this page, I can also refine my results. So I might, for example, limit it to full text or peer-reviewed, I can change the dates that I'm searching, publication dates. I could also change the source type, the database that I'm looking for, and something that I think is very helpful is I can change the reading level. So for example, if I'm looking for something for younger students, I could click that lower Lexile and then have a, a list of resources that would be appropriate. What I'd be looking for in my resource list is either PDF full text or HTML full text. When I find a PDF full text article, if I open up this one, I can preview it. And if I decide that this is an article that I would like to use with my class, I can simply choose Save to Google Drive. It's going to connect to my school account. And from there, I would be able to access the article that I've just saved and share it with my class. So if I go into my Google Drive real quick, it will be one of the suggested uh, links up at the top because I just recently added it. But if I'm not sure where those are saving, what happens is it creates a folder in my Google Drive. So all the articles that I've saved from KYVL will be in that folder and I will be able to get a link to that and share it to my classes. Now remember these are copyright protected so I would not be adding this to like a public web page but you could certainly add it to a place like Seesaw or Schoology and just make that perhaps Fort Thomas Independent Schools um, so that a student would have to be logged in or if you're going to change that you know, you could change it to anyone with a link, but just keep it to a restricted spot. All right, so that's how you could save articles from a quick search in KYVL. And um, that's just the fast way to use it.